Good morning. So this is my first video and my first vlog shooting with my new camera. I'm using it on a small handheld tripod. I've got image stabilization on, which is the whole reason why I got this camera over a couple of the other ones. It's also quite small, uh, which you'll see in an unboxing video that I have already shot but have yet to edit. Um, so this video is going to be attached to a blog post that I've written um, about naysayers. So people in your life that provide you with negative feedback or negative uh, influence, basically anyone in your life that through actions of their own or through things that they say, um, they are not doing you any favors, basically. Uh, sorry about the noise. Uh, there's a large construction site. They're pulling down a building over here. Maybe I will uh, show you a little of that when we walk by. But So, some of these naysayers are easy to get rid of just because they are acquaintances, people that don't really matter. Um, others are people that we've either known for a long time and for whatever reason they've decided that our life is suddenly uh, or has become something that they'd like to have some say in. Um, and obviously also there's those that are family members that we can't really get rid of all that easily. Uh, unless, of course, they're part of some sort of toxic relationship or an ongoing situation that has become so dire and such a problem that there is no real other recourse other than to cut them out, at least temporarily. But how do you go about this in a method that uh, serves all parties? I'm just going to cross the street here, see if I can get away from this noise a bit. It's pretty loud, and I'd rather not have it be all pervasive and not being able to hear what I'm talking about. So there's a couple different ways that you can cut people out. You can cut them out by um, deciding to have a conversation with them and saying, you know what, you're not good for me, um, I don't appreciate this uh, input, um, you know. This is obviously after you've tried reasoning with them a couple times in the past and it hasn't happened. Um, you know, you sort of want to have your final say and give them the what for and say, nope, I am done with you and I don't want to hear any more excuses and I'm cutting you out and here's why. Um, benefits to this is that uh, you get a final word in if that's something that you're looking to do, but it also does give the person, um, you know, a reason as to why you stop talking to them. Um, how they want to, uh, whether they want to accept this or not is up to them. Um, downsides is that it does give them the opportunity to uh, to send you some sort of rebuttal. And obviously, if you do this face to face, you're going to have some sort of discussion with them. Uh, in the blog, I have linked a book about uh, conflict resolution that I've really enjoyed uh, reading and using uh, on a uh, quasi daily basis. Uh, so you'll be able to read that if you'd like. If you decide to do this face to face. If you decide that you're just going to do it, of course, via an email or via a letter, the person obviously has the ability to send you a reply, either through an email or drop a letter off to you to read. And whether or not you decide that you're going to reply to that email, whether you're going to even open it, you might decide you just want to delete it and move on. Um, and sometimes that's the better, the better way to go about things, because you don't want to open up a can of wax and start emailing the person back and forth. The whole, the whole reason for doing this is to, is to cut contact entirely, so that's why you would do it. Um, the other way that you can go about it is you can choose to just block their communication. Uh, there's plenty of messaging and texting applications that will make this very easy to do. Um, and of course, if you've known this person less face-to-face -face and more virtually over the internet, it's quite easy just to find a number of different ways, depending on what method you use to talk to them, to block them from any sort of uh, further uh, discourse. 
So there's that choice that you have as well, which is yours entirely. So what you can do from there is really up to you. Um, blocking them, of course, lets them form their own reasons as to why you've stopped talking to them. And unless they decide that you're so important to each other that it's worthwhile for you uh, to have some sort of argument with them about it, they'll probably just go on with their lives and you'll go on with that on yours. They'll form some sort of reason as to why you've decided not to talk anymore and you'll go on your merry ways. Um, this whole art of non-confrontation is uh, something that I sort of struggled with when I was writing the blog and when, I was, when I'm filming this right now. Uh, primary reasoning is because it's uh, it's sort of the par on course, so to speak, with the times. Text messaging and instant messaging and all these other th ways uh, for us to um, avoid confrontation or avoid face-to-face uh, -face contact um, is uh, not exactly one of the most amazing things that's uh, been a gift of this technology, but in this circumstance, I really don't see anything wrong with it. Um, anyway, I'd love to hear your comments in the spots provided below. You can always get to me on Twitter at Shosen Zen. You can always also reply uh, to the blog itself. Let me know what you think and um, let me know how the new quality looks because I'd love to hear some comments. This will be my new regular everyday vlogging and vlogging camera. As always, namaste guys ho. Have a wonderful afternoon.